talk to the number of short sellers today, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of friends who are short sellers, right. a lot of friends who and are long buyers. And there's only one being a short seller. No, you and short my, I mean, the traditional not... people who are allegedly shorting are not, okay? Right, they've, no. they've read the rules. They're not doing it. Right. The, what, what they come back to, it's very interesting, yes. and it's not my theory, but they come back to say, listen, it could be financial terrorism. What a great way to take down America. It's interesting because the FSA position, which is short positions, maybe they want to find out who is doing the shorting. Like in 9-11, do you remember right. the airlines went down first and people thought it was bin it's Laden? Well, you just heard Christopher Ailman. I mean, he can actually go, right? If they have the right. stock and they lend it out to people to short, he can go figure out who that is right. or at least get a sense. And they he, at least well, feared that well, he did not know. It's a national emergency, a, a, right. a financial national emergency. It is if a national people emergency. want to look at that, I yes. think it's fine. I do believe that the traditional short sellers are not so unpatriotic, if you want to use your term, right. that they would be doing this. No, so, they're not. Certainly uh, not the individuals but, you know, that we obviously know. There's too right. much leverage in the system. Mm -hmm. There's work. But I think the FSA is to try to find out whether the guy on the other side of the trade is someone who wants to bring down capitalism. Now, right. you could say, well, wait a second. Hank Paulson brought down capitalism when they, fit, when they seized Fannie Mae. It certainly wasn't their intent. They're great Americans. Right, but he but was hardly going in the Form of anarchy. He right. was more going towards socialism. Well, but you know, I think that they want to find or out whether there is nihilism. Is it? I once did a piece in right. 1987 saying that the best way to bring down America, and what I was always afraid of, was this kind of like let's get James Bond on the case to find out what's going on. Now, It'll obviously, the financial terrorism th thing to me, has to be put on the table just because the regular right. short sellers are not doing but it's this. Interesting. Right. They're and not that's why doing this. You can use the word and patriotic right. actually leads you to that. They're not doing this. Now, Jim, but we also have so much love now for deposit banks. Well, Wells Fargo could do whatever it wants. You know, I love, I've had him on the show a million times. Howard Atkins know, is great. That doesn't Stump mean you is have to support the Suddenly stock Suddenly it's at a 52-week high. U.S. <laughs> Bancorp. Great. Ba but it is, I mean, Goldman has no home equity loan and car loans. I mean, these are not, I mean, it is a little nutty. Goldman yes. does not have exposure to the parts of the loan business that are bad, okay? No. It does not have a lot of exposure right. to these hedge funds, but it doesn't matter. No one's listening to well, me. It's a fascinating No one's listening to me on Goldman point. Sachs. I'm just sitting here feeling like a dope. And I want to but, emphasize that the FSA rule and, here, to your point of it, right. it would expose people for their true right. intention, um, it would ban short selling in certain stocks. Uh, well, see, I, I, in, any, right. in any financial companies from now until January 16th, and they can review it before then. But this is this is basically you can't do it. For, well, for five look, I, I, I don't. I'm not. That, that's I have defended the notion that we should have, reinstate the rules that I play by, the uptick rule, the uptick rule? and the bar rule. The ban short selling is wrong. It's just wrong. Unless right. you had well, reason to believe that it was it might a that it was a force that would normally use physical terrorism that is using financial terrorism. If you have reason mm -hmm. to believe that, then I certainly think that, you know, these people are yelling, yelling fire in a crowded theater, and I want to know. I, I mean, I, look, I can't tell the Goldman alumni, of which I was in a room I spoke last year with $4 trillion. I wish they'd all go by 10% of Goldman. No one's listening to me. Well, that I think Goldman's fine. Well, it's not $4 trillion dollars yeah, anymore. Yeah, no, <laughs> no one's listening to me. I think it's fine. But I okay. do think that the regular short sellers are not behind this, and I hope they're not, you know, I, I applaud Cuomo for wanting to look at anyone who wants to look into it. Right. But you can't ban the stuff. That's wrong. Right. Just bring back the old rules. They worked for a long time. All right. Okay. Uh, Jim Thank has you for the chance.